It's a nice four bedroom house in South LA that was just remodeled by the owner. We actually had a potential Section 8 tenant that we were going to show the place to when we discovered that we're somebody in there. That somebody is Chanel Latham. The homeowner says that you broke into this property and you're squatting. It's not true at all. I was outraged. Homeowner Lori Horn says the house was empty for about two months while it was being remodeled. Her property manager informed her that someone broke the lockbox overnight and went inside the house. When they went to the property, Chanel told them she was a tenant. We asked if she had proof of the funds that she paid just to show, you know, that she apparently was a victim herself. She couldn't provide that. She said, oh, we paid in cash. When we went asking for proof, Chanel provided this. This is the actual lease rental agreement. Who rented you this property? Wayne Johnson. Who is Wayne Johnson? Wayne Johnson, I met off Craigslist. Can you look me in the eye to tell me your story? Because I mean, I'd I like to told, understand. I'm right here, dear. I I'm just right told here. my story already. Okay. And I feel that. Your story was. What was your story, dear? What was your story, dear? Chanel has been living at this house for nearly four weeks now. This is my house. You can't get in because they have rights. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lori called the police when she first found out someone had broken into her house, but she says officers told her she was on her own. The police officer was just like, this is a civil matter. We can't help you. I'm sorry. When Chanel came outside for a second time, I tried to get information on the person she says rented her the house. If you're a victim of fraud, let us know who rented the house to you okay, so that we can I go after you. him. I told you already, Wayne Johnson, and I'm not going to say it again. Wayne but how do I get a hold of Wayne Johnson? How did you get a hold of him? I do not have to explain myself to you. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to you. If you go on vacation, someone can just automatically go and break into your house and have a fake lease and say, oh, we're a victim of fraud, and then try getting them out. So where does it end? Lori has already spent more than $1,000 in lawyer fees trying to get the woman to move out. Lori's husband also offered her $500. She refuses to leave, and the police say it is a civil matter and they have to take it to court.